people production. Vlog and the go, me a vlog and the go. I have some information for you to know. Greetings, I don't know if I see the image of your device and I learn footing is nice. And right now to the Medea with the man of the moment. You know what I mean? A general who in the business a long time. Had many various hit songs. You know what I mean? The man was saying for days! Yay! The man was saying yay! I miss uh What's <laughs> the next one again? For that I miss a dondo freaking argue. Look on the swagger! You think I'm big jagger? <laughs> Go so cool, no mama. Talking, talking. I'm alright, my family. Yeah, man. Great to see yeah. the eye, my brother. Alright, sir. Bless up, my family, yeah, man. man. Every time. Talking, talking for days. So all who don't know Tug of War, yeah. seeing all of the new fans, them, the fans, them, a flying foot. I don't know. And Tug of War, yes. Yeah, so this is Tug of War, see? Bless up. The man got the game a long time. I think he actually started before me, to be honest. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. As well, me just coming at the game, 2004. Me here talk about my name a ring long time. Yeah, respect. See, and the respect. first time we can recall when we hear a surf. Right. Yeah, that was the first hit. That was the first single or your first hit? First hit, not the first single. See, yeah. First hit single. See, yes. Yeah, so well, actually, second hit single. Because okay. the first hit single was Ta, Ga, Wo. Remember me name? Ta, Ta Ga, yeah, Wo. Oh, Remember yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. one there? So that's, that's the first one. That's the first yeah, hit yeah. single. Mm. And then Surf was the second hit single. Same, same. Yeah, but I mean, I really single from 2002. From, I, okay. I started recording in Jamaica from 2002. Mm. Yes, yeah, I remember single. you was in Jamaica. Yes. And Big Buzz. Yeah, man, Big Buzz. Big, Big Buzz. Big, Dance Big Sting, Buzz, 2002, you know? 2003. Mm. Cartel's birthday by Stone Love and Everest. All the footage still on YouTube? All of the footage on YouTube. Yeah, so, okay, I'm going to grab. Um, yeah. Nice. Yeah, man, so things has been. Really since. good. Excellent, man. Excellent. I've been working hard, really, really working hard. You know me, like, I don't stop work hard. We'll leap on new projects. And it's, I give thanks for the strength. I give thanks for the people. They're embracing what I'm doing right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? They feel the energy more than ever. And it's nice. It's like I find um, I find a nice vibe within myself in the sense of I feel like I find a nice range. Yeah. Where I'm... Where you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like to yeah. To find a, a sweet spot where... Yeah, yeah, I find a know? sweet spot. And you know, it takes it takes time as an artist time to find that. Find, a, yeah. find yourself, your sound. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? to, to, to find yourself as an artist. Yeah. That is the main part. Yeah. Finding yourself more mm -hmm. than the sound. Because when you find yourself, mm -hmm. you know where you're going, you see? Mm -hmm. And we know where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. reinventing yourself. Yeah. Because I've been, I've been in this game for years. So it's like... You have to keep modern. So like as you say, I come out, I start make music two thousand and two. Yeah. I can't have, I can't be chatting the same style from then yeah. now. You have to change. You have to reinvent. Mm. You know what I mean? And I see you do it yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we reinvent ourselves as the time True. goes on, yeah, you know what I mean? Now the music change, so yeah. we have to stay current to do our going. Exactly. You, can't, stick it out the you right? can't, otherwise the new generation ain't gonna like what you do. Because I left you. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, and I'm still young, so we gotta keep yeah, it relevant, so you know? Stick up. Let's come like the same with Fantan Moja. You yeah. know a few look thing we have got. Big up Fantan Moja. Big up Fantan. I'm a you know. I'm a bridge with me and Fantan used to roll in at Jamaica when we were there a yard them time. Yeah, I want to pass the show. Big up Fantan, man. Big up yourself, bro. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Fantan dropped the news on one year with the girl. Um, and what if I can't travel? Yeah, 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 yeah. We about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but yeah. So, I was just trying to stay current on the new fans, them. Mm. You know what I mean? The younger fans, them. Mm -hmm. And the game had changed. So, we have to change with the game. Yeah. See, so. When me see I do your thing right now, me I say, you know, my Africa come reach out. You know what I mean? Now I start the Lion Foot platform. I have to reach out and come link up with you again because the last time I think we did a show together was in Seven Sisters. Yeah, yeah, I remember. You know I, mean? I remember, I remember. Me just feel, me feel great yeah. and joyful. My sister, my fellow co worker, my brother, still a push, still I do the thing like Respect. myself, you know. So Respect. you Thank inspired you. the eye and eye, you know. Thank you. And so I say, I take the time off to come. Mm. Bring up on the platform. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No, I really appreciate so that. So people can see the thing because yeah. you're one of the men that we put in the work mm -hmm. in the UK and Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And you're a job. Tune pan, tune pan, tune pan, tune pan. You know what I mean? And you have a look at the thing I go up on Instagram. Yeah. 
You know, with Mama Wa. Right? That's right. Like, that's right. We got Mama Wa. We got Mama Wa. That's right. Yeah, yeah, we got we got our little vibe going. Yeah, we got Mama Wa. Yeah. You know, yeah, man. I, I'm spoiled with some really lovely food every day, man. I'm very yeah. blessed, yeah, man. See, so um, where 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 you born and raised in the UK? I'm born in Hackney. Born and Hackney. raised in Hackney. Yeah. See, and yeah. um, which school you attended? Highbury Grove School. Yeah. Highbury Grove, which is in Islington, so it's not too far from Hackney. It's like okay. it's like What's twenty that? minute walk from Hackney. Okay, so yeah. you're doing music from when? Where do you find yourself as, well, as a musician? I start doing music from like 14, 15 years old. I run around from pirate radio station. Yeah. And I start emceeing like an MC. I start writing lyrics from 14. Mm. And then going around all the pirate radio station house parties. I was on pirate radio station from 15, 16 years old, emceeing on jungle music, house and garage. Yeah. Them time there, that music was popping at that time there. And I've been doing I've been doing it for years. Even so, even before I went to Jamaica, I was a popular MC. Mm. Before I turned artist, I was a popular okay. MC. So I was. Oh, okay. You understand what I say? So mm. I chat lyrics. I chat microphone from fourteen years old. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Long time writing. I'm right. I've been a writer. That's why my writing is crazy, right? Because I've been writing from maybe 12, 13 years old. I've been mm. actually writing. So it's, I, I remember, like, I couldn't even write songs. I just write lyrics. lyrics yeah. You know what I mean? So I've been writing for a long, long time. Okay. So did someone inspire you to transfer it into music as an artist? Yeah, you know what? It's funny because my, my aim my whole life, even when I was really young, I wanted to be an artist. So imagine, see, I'm, my mum's from Ireland and my dad's from Cyprus, Greek Cypriot. So yeah. I'm half Greek, half Irish. Mm. And I'm born in Hackney. So I imagine this half Greek, half Irish boy in Hackney who yeah. always wanted to be a dance wife. Yeah. I always I listened to that. I grew up on reggae. I grew up in a big Jamaican community. Mm. I grew up I grew up around the yeah, culture. I, yeah. yeah, I grew up around mm. the culture from a young age, and I listened into them, and I fall in love with reggae music from a very young age. Yeah. And hip hop too. Mm. I ain't gonna leave hip hop. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like the two of them entwined in my life. Mm. You know what I mean? When we grow up. Yeah, yeah. And the whole culture. So it's coming like. I always wanted to be this artist from before I even see a possibility of it happening because I was like, how? Like at that age, I'm talking about 14, 15, 16. Like there's no chance. I didn't even see a chance for me to become an artist. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So when I ended up going to Jamaica, like I ended up in, in a bad position. I ended up getting locked up in prison. Yeah? Which make... prison? Which prison? Oh, Jamaica? Yes. Yeah. You never know? No. Which, which prison? <laughs> which prison? <laughs> which jail? Like? Spanish though. Spanish though. Boom, bad. I was six months in Spanish town. Yeah. 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 Supposed to get Wally by Love Innocence. Yeah, Wally. Well, that's when my career started. I got, I got, I got arrested for smuggling weed. Oh. See. So they catch me in Norman, Norm, Norman Manley Airport with, with, with a lot of weed in my suitcase. Mm. And then they. So I, I took a risk. Yeah, I took a risk. Yeah. I was <laughs> young. I, got, and I took I a risk, and I didn't go there to smuggle weed. I went, I went there for a holiday with, yeah, yeah. with my ex-girlfriend. Mm. I was with for two weeks and. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 a, I'm a ganja, crazy. I'm crazy mm. ganja, man. I love yeah. weed so much. Me just say, yo, weed's so nice and cheap out there. I just try to bring it back. <laughs> and that was my business. I was hustling weed from a young age. Yeah, okay. So that was my business. So when I saw the weed at the price, I, I looked at how much money I could make mm. and I just got excited and I tried yeah, to bring yeah, it over yeah, myself yeah, and yeah. I ended up getting yeah. caught. But it turned it up into a good thing for me. Yeah. Where is I went to prison, which was a bad experience, and then I turned it into something positive. I turned my life around, and that's where I, 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 I concentrate and I decided I want to concentrate on my music mm -hmm. career and leave this... Like, that was a sign, left yeah. the hustling and the smuggling game. Mm. And and sometimes you know sometime I mean? things happen in life, you know, where yeah. it's like, yeah, I move fast, but Father God does, mm. you know, makes up something reach where mm. you can retrack yourself and become a better person, so... Yeah. Them say from everybody always turn out to be a good, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. Are you right. won't be the first who run the risk I took chances, so you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I believe that. I believe that. Mm. You have to you have to really um you have to go through some negative stuff to, to realise. To yeah, realise. Yeah, you got I, my saying is you gotta do right to do wrong. Wrong, yeah. You gotta do right to you gotta mm. do wrong to know right. Yeah. And you won't know what what wrong is until you do it. <laughs> do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? And it hits you in your face, and mm -hmm. then you realize yeah, yeah, what yeah, your yeah. path is. You know. True. So what 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 is it like? What was it like in the prison in Spanish? Though? It was six, crazy. Six months. Yeah. Well, I got sentenced one year. 
so it was one year and a, and a fine. So I would have done eight months, but I mm. paid a fine, so they yeah. cut it down to six, six. months. Uh, so okay. I ended up doing six months in Spanish. So you had a six stretch, yeah? Yeah. What was that experience like? Crazy. It was crazy. It was like, it felt like six years. <laughs> 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 I mean, you're, it's, a very, it's a dangerous place. Your life is on the line every day. You, you can people you can dead in there for the least yeah, of the thing. You know what I mean? It's a very dangerous, it's dangerous motherfucking mm. place. You know what I mean? So, but like, like what I said from the beginning, I'm born in Hackney, so I'm born in the Langs Den. Yeah. I'm born amongst the hyenas and the wolves. So, mm -hmm. so it's like I was kind of built for it in a sense. So I had that toughening in me, in me already. So I was like, okay, I'm. Yeah. I know Hackney's a, a tough motherfucking place as well. So it kind of prepared me for. Spanish town prison, but it's it was very it's very it was like like yeah you just have to be very careful mm. in there. It was it's a very dangerous place, you know what I mean? Very dangerous place. The only thing that keep people sane in there is two things to me: is music and weed. And weed, yeah. You know what I mean? You know I was in there. Jackie O was locked. I was locked up with Jackie O. Oh, yeah. Jackie O was. Jack a, I used to power all the artists. I used to power every day. So I yeah. used to power. I used to be around Jackie O them. Alizade was in there and I was in there. See. Zebra was in my section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on. The, I was on the ground floor. Zebra was on the second floor. Oh, okay. It was like there's a lot of artists in there. And the first stage show I ever did in Jamaica was in the prison. In the prison, see? Yeah, on Easter Monday, <laughs> and Jack Hill called me up on stage. Yeah. Jack Hill and Zebra it was a li live bands mm, uh, in the yeah, prison. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Easter them do that. Them do them that. Do that. Yeah. So it was Easter Monday. Show was at Easter Monday. Mm. They let the prisoners out all day. Yeah. So all day, instead to lock us up, they let us out. So we had an extra day out. And we carried the whole sound system around. And our, our section, we, we keep the dance. And Jack Hure and Zebra was the main artist for the event. Mm. And then when they done their set, because I, I power me up with Jack Hure every day and sort of chatting lyrics with all the artists. And so they know me an artist. And in the middle of uh, one point, you know, them set, them called me up. And we bust the, the place and we mash up the whole fucking dance. Yeah. And that's where Sean Paul's father... I tell you the story. So, Sean Paul father that day in the prison. Them time they give me the light, don't even come out yet. Mm. So Sean Paul's just like a, he's a known artist, but he's not a superstar. Superstar, yeah. Right. So Sean Paul's father's at, in the prison, but he's not at the stage show. He's on the other end of the prison washing his plates because he, that's what you do when you get your little time out to your cell. You go wash your clothes, yeah, your plates, yeah, or whatever yeah. you have to do. Yeah. So while he's washing his plates, I'm DJing. And they say, oh, the white man, I am shot the place. Show him the white man, I am shot the place. Everybody's running around the prison <laughs> going mad. Real shit. Everyone's yeah. running around the prison going mad. Say, yo, the white man, I am shot the place. White man, I am shot the place. So Sean Paul's father, he wasn't even interested in the stage show. Hence the mm. reason why he was washing his plates. Yeah. But when he is a the white man, he wants to say, which white man I am shot the blood clot place? So he left him plates. Mm. I run go the stage to yeah. see who the fuck is, who, who's everyone Which's talking about. Yeah. What, what the fuck's going on here? Let me see what's going on here. So he goes up to see and he sees me on stage matching mm. up the place. And that was the first fucking show I did in Jamaica in the fucking prison. See. And after the show, and this is how I got made a um, friendship with Sean Pools for R.I.P. Garth Enriquez because he passed away last yeah, year yeah, yeah. or just over a year ago. Um, so after the, after the show, like, he come up to my cell and he said to me, my, you, you're bad, red, and this. So, and he was getting released two weeks before me. Mm. He arranged to keep me in the country to work on my music. They was going to deport me. Yeah. So if it wasn't for Sean Paul, if it wasn't that, that's why I tell you that piece of history there. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for Sean Paul's father, Garth Enriquez, yeah. they would have deported me back to England. England because I'm British actually. citizen. Mm -hmm. So I get locked up in Jamaica and they might deport me back to England. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But, because he seen me mash up the stage, yo. Him saying, remind me I'm son. Yeah. He, he, he actually rated me, but he was like, yo, you're better than my son. He loved the, 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 the style, the style yeah. you know what I mean? Love tug of war as the artist. The energy. the energy, loved it. And he was like, and it was, he, and he arranged with the immigration to keep, even the immigration knew I'm staying in the country to do my music. Yeah, yeah. After they, 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 Yes. Yeah. Mm. So instead, so, and I still have to buy a ticket for go up on the plane, you know, but I never go up on the plane. Because if you don't buy the ticket, then put your romance center. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cause me have, me have, me have foreign, so me I forgot to get deport. Mm -hmm. So if they don't buy me, if, if, so me never buy the ticket. Gone, I remember. You gone, I remember. Yeah, so me buy a ticket, yeah. when me even use plane gone, empty seat gone. Yeah. But me go to the airport and the rest of the man them jump on the plane, yeah. and then me just and then, and then me have a man come receive me, come need a Jamaican citizen yeah. of 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 a certain status for mm -hmm. receive you. And I that. Yeah. you understand sure, me? I said yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah assurance. Sure, yeah. yeah, and them know I'm staying at the country yeah, for work yeah. for my music. You understand yeah. me? I said. 
and 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 that's how my career start. Yeah. So that's why I tell you that story because if it wasn't for that moment, I, I, they, it, it played a big part into tug of war and how it molded um, me and the yeah, whole yeah. story because yeah. I would have got deported back to England and I wouldn't have had the chance the to run. Vibe, so, the vibe, the exactly. So I end up Garth and we, we, we because we both come out of prison, so we was in prison together. Yeah. So we was in one of the worstest places in Jamaica, which is Spanish town fucking mm. prison. So now we're both out and road. We, we, he showed me, he showed me the well of Jamaica, yeah. and he took me around the studios. And he introduced me to Roy Francis, the first studio where I ended up mixing lab. So I can go, you know, mixing lab. Yeah, I'm mixing lab, yeah. Man. So we go around a mixing lab and start Vice Round there. And Roy Francis, he introduced me to Roy. I'm sliding Robbie below one reading for Roy. And I, I record my first song around mixing lab. And I start record loads of songs 10, 20, 30, 40, like loads of songs yeah. around mixing lab every day and day of Vice. And mm. that was the start of my career. And that's yeah. where I ended up meeting Lexus and all the other artists. Yeah, and, yeah, and develop. So. And develop and go and do these stage shows. Yeah, and, yeah. You know what I mean? And and then, I must say, your delivery. So your yeah. delivery, you have a delivery where mm. it's very connected. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Respect, connected, thank you. you know? Thank you. Gravitating, like, stage performance. Thank you. The sound, the energy. So yeah. I, you would say you developed that in Jamaica, hearing that? I've, I that developed, confidence. You no, know, I've always, that's been me for my whole life. That was me. I wouldn't have been able to do what I did in Jamaica yeah. if I didn't have that confidence. Because mm. if you even look back on the Sting performance, and I've always had that confidence. So I've been like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Well, yeah, man, from young, day one. Yeah, yeah from mm. day one. But yeah, the start, so the, my, my, my execution, I don't know, that's, that's just always been, because I've been chatting on jungle music growing up, House and garage, hip hop. So I come up on a lot of different styles of music. Yeah. But reggae music and reggae music is my main inspiration, mm -hmm. along with hip hop. And growing up in other in other in other world community and everything. So it's like the, the my delivery was the main thing. So the artists I used to listen to, my my favorite artists growing up of was like Ninja Man, yeah. Supercat, Papa San, General Trees. Mm. I'm like. English art is Smiley Culture, R.I.P. My family. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Smiley. R.I.P. Smiley. Papa Levi. Papa Levi, one of the baddest UK yeah, artists man. ever. Ever. Man, he was a big inspiration to me. Papa Levi. Mm. So I grew up listening to Saxon. Yeah, sa yeah true. Okay. Mm. Coxon. Unity Sound. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it's my local sound system. I'm from Hackney. Unity from Top. Yeah, man. Mm. You see me? Navigator, Ragga Twins, we got Ragga Twins, yeah, Navigator, yeah. these are UK icons to me. Mm. So I listen to, so the standard I come up of, of I, 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 I'm a, is very high, you know, so I'm getting in the business, I had to be, these guys are great. These guys are absolute greats I'm talking about. Yeah. They're greats. I have to be. Yeah, man. Cause I heard of some of them, but I don't really know. Yeah, that, to me, yeah. like, and have you ever, have you ever hear some of them? Like, they're amazing. So, like, these are my inspirations. So, yeah, yeah. and execution was something like Smiley Culture was my manager. At okay. Moment. So when I come mm -hmm. back from England, Smiley became a very close friend of mine. Um, my old manager introduced him to me. Yeah. And uh, me and Smiley became very close. He was like almost a father figure to me. Very close to Smiley, and Smiley mm. helped from my land back. He helped me. He got he he arranged. I done a song with Maxi Priest. Yeah. Um. He he produced Smiley produced songs for me. Mm. My deal with Jetstar. He helped me yeah, yeah, get yeah. that deal. He done a lot for me, Smiley. And Smiley's one of my idols. So them man is like, if you ever listen to their execution, and their thing like so I mm -hmm. I, I yeah, my ch punchy, you know. And yeah, tug yeah, of war. Yeah. I've always been aggressive on the microphone. That's why they call me tug of war. Yeah, man. They see the aggression, like, <laughs> like it's like, so and, and that's the, my whole style, and, yeah, and I, I and I like and I come up off on stage show, so it's like I have to be punchy and mm. I wanna I don't wanna say, if I can't perform the song on the stage like the record yeah. I ain't doing it, mm. I have to have the same energy. Yeah. More and perform the song on the stage. So are you that are that you are that artist where? Mm. You perform while the song is playing, cause you know. No, like, no instrumental. You know, no, instrumental. I'll acapella. Yeah. I'll acapella. I mean, I, 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 if you watch some show, I mean, I don't even want to read him. Yeah. Because I don't believe in that. I'm yeah, that performer. was enough. Most artists must say I do it now. I'm not really a fan of that. I'm not either, a fan of know, it so. either. I'm not a fan yeah. of it at all. It takes away from the whole performance. Yeah, I, of I, who you are, yeah. Of who you are. Mm. 
like you see these people I mentioned, do you know why I was a fan of them? Because their execution. That's mm. why my execution is so good because I, 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 I learn from the best. Mm. You know what I mean? If you're not executing like that, I don't think you should be on stage. Yeah. I wouldn't have been like, I come in, this, I come in the game at a hard time to get in the game. I mean, I put out a song from records. Mm. My first song come out on records. Yeah. You had to be able to go in the studio and spit that in one fucking take. Mm. If, the, if the engineer didn't like, if the producer didn't like, he was yeah, kicking you out. Kicking you out. Yeah, and he would tell you, even tell you that like, even if you could spit it and you didn't have enough stamina, yeah. he would tell you, yo, listen. Nah, I feel it. Yeah. Go run around your scheme. I'll go back. <laughs> yeah, about two weeks and come check me back in two weeks and see. And if not, I see him again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that time, that's not true. That's a go on. Mm. Nowadays, it's easy. Everyone's got a computer and a microphone. Yeah. They turn it on and be lazy yeah, and, yeah. and put a little auto tune on, yeah. whatever. They, which is fine. You can make a good record mm -hmm. and it sounds good. Wicked. Yeah. But that's not the school I come from. I had to fucking... Yeah, man. And that's the energy. Yeah. Man. That's why I rate artists like Bounty Killer, Beanie Man. Yeah. You know what I mean? These are artists who I grew up listening to as well. Yeah, man. Even down to the rappers, yeah. then Biggie Smalls, Nas. Yeah. You know what I mean? These yeah, man, real, grits. real, real artists, real mm. spitters, man. I'm yeah. a spitter. I like real spitting. If you like, I want to feel the artist spit on stage like I listen to his record. Yeah. And if I, if I can't feel it like that, then I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be a fan no more. All right, I'll be a fan of your record. I'll hear a man record or a woman record and I say, oh, they're wicked. Mm. I, I like that song there. And then I'll see them on stage with, 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 with all the background vocals going yeah. on and they and I'm not a fan no more they just, play, I sing behind the you just lost me yeah. you mm -hmm. see me as a fan because mm -hmm. I'm a fan of music first and foremost yeah, man. so people ask me do I like artists no I don't like artists I love artists yeah. first and foremost me yeah. are artists and me love artists yes. you understand what I'm saying I mean I like artists I love artists because I love music mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying so when we look and I listen to a song, but if I can't see that person perform that song, then I'm not a fan of that person as much no more then because you haven't fulfilled me as a, yeah. as, a, as, a as a fan. I need to see the performance. Mm -hmm. More I go out of your sure yeah. and see that I'm performance sure. I see there. the performance, yeah. yeah, true. Yeah. So what, what was the, um, mm. the, the name of that song you did with um, Maxi Priest? Be My Lady. Be My Lady. Be so. My Lady, yeah. It was actually for his album. Okay. It was for his album. Um for Virgin Records for you or whatever record company he was doing it for at the time. And then they ended up changing his album and then mm. um, my manager ended up getting it for a promo single for me. Okay. So I ended up adding another verse on it and making it into my single, yeah, yeah. which we used it in the early... I couldn't actually release it properly because Maxi's record company Co yeah, yeah, and yeah. the certain issues... Because it was originally Maxi's song. Mm. So it was meant to go on Maxi's album, oh, but yeah. what they did, they changed... It's an R&B song. And okay. you know, it's produced by R. Kelly's production team. Mm. The, the song I did with Maxi Priest. There's all contracts and... Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. It's produced by R. Kelly's production team. And I was lucky enough to do another version to, to, yeah. to get it for myself, so to speak, mm. when they ended up not using it. Because it was an R&B song and they changed Maxi's album. So they changed, because Maxi ended up getting the song from the drop leaf rhythm. Remember the drop yeah, leaf rhythm? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Maxi did the song from the drop leaf rhythm, and that song kicked off. Mm -hmm. And then they said, yo, they might change the Maxi album, make it more reggae. <laughs> yeah. So they left out the R&B now, and then more yeah, concentrate yeah, yeah. on the reggae, that did not go on at the time. Mm -hmm. So they ended up leave that song there off the album, yeah. and then me run with it, but we couldn't put it out properly, and we ended up, it never ended up. They, it got a lot of radio play. The mm -hmm. DJs loved it at the time. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, the yeah. pirate radio stations were playing it mm -hmm. a lot. We got up a lot of DJs, a big all the DJs that were playing it, man. They were in the clubs. They were, it got a lot of play. Yeah, it got a lot of play. It was a, it's a nice song. It was, a, it was one of my early songs. Mm. It was like it was actually like what I said. Big up my one of my first managers, Susan Bonito. She arranged it. She introduced me to Smiley Culture and Maxi Priest, and yeah. I went to the studio with Maxi and did the song. Mm. We went down mm. West London, so it's not like I, we, it's not like we did the song. Two different studios, you know, yeah, we've done yeah, it together. together yeah. yeah, we did the song together. Cool, man. Yeah, it was it was a proper it was nice it was a nice session. It was a nice experience for me to work with such a big artist as well. Because yeah. he's like Grammy mm. multi platinum well, Maxi, Maxi Free's massive mm. one of the one of the biggest. Play by Eddie Mortem and Deptford, this year, you know? Huh? Play by Eddie Mortem and Deptford. Yeah, 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 yeah around that song. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Yeah, mm. man. Mm. Yeah, around this so MBS, no? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So um the surf. Yeah, How surf. How did you come about with the surf now? How did that come about? The surf was crazy because that was like by chance because 
I never even wanted to do any dancing songs because dancing was running the place at the time. Elephant Man was running the place with the dancing song, you remember? Yeah, man. So Ellie, I run the place. Ellie, I've, I've this and Beanie, I've rode about. And Ellie, I've, I've, I've uh, pond the river, pond the bank and all of these dancing songs. And All right, stick up in there. Look at the people, look at that little piece right there. Yeah. <laughs> everybody do deserve, everybody do deserve, everybody do deserve, do deserve. Oh, I said dance on a long thing Bend your knee, bend your back, start surfing This dance don't need much rehearsing Put you yourself, cut out the cursing Mix up with the, with the, with the surfing Start getting mad, you know the pan a long thing Now you're heading way when you're surfing Rats and jars, I know jolting What types got them with the surfing Bad man forward, we're not reversing Everybody do the surf on spot Box the surf, show them what you got Everybody do the surf Yes, that's the surf You don't know if I want to see the full video mm. You can click the link in the description mm. It will be provided You see it? Yeah mm. So, um, yes, continue to talk about it Yeah, so that it was running the place badly. And but I'm a I'm a artist, I'm more do I do girl songs, but I'm tug of war. I, mm. I do I do more gangster yeah, stuff so, and yeah. you know what I mean that's my persona, that's what I do. You mm. know what I mean? So that's my style. So I wasn't really feeling doing dancing songs to be honest with you. But all of my friend them, every club me go at the time, <laughs> oh the one of my friend them are dancer, we have so many yeah. dancer friends. <laughs> I mean, I'm, an, I'm not really a dancer, but you know, you know, the club and you yeah, have yeah. some drink and we have smoke and we end up dancing with yeah, them too. Yeah. I mean, no, the one of the dancers, because sometimes they force me to dance, you yeah, know. Yeah. Because sometimes like, oh, you can't just stand up and you have to dance, you know. You know what it is here already, because yeah, all in a Jamaica. So we got all Lex, because my pa with Lex was a Jamaica, Lex and my brother, brother. Mm. And then we're going, Alex is a dancer, you know. Because he used to be a dancer before he was yeah, a artist, yeah, so yeah, he's, yeah, a, he's, yeah. A, he's a dancer, Lex. So you can't party with Lex and stand up. <laughs> You go by with Lex and I say, yo, thank you for learning the dance. Yeah. <laughs> so, he dance, but I get involved when I'm in the club. It's fine. So, all of the dancers are telling me now, Tuggy, you have to go do a dance. So, I say, I swear to you. I say, yo, low me, low me, low me, low me. Anyway, so, big up DJ Corey. Because DJ Corey went to Jamaica and um, he bucked up a guy called Jigsy. Who, who made the rhythm. Yeah. And and he got the rhythm off of, and Corey come and he sent me the rhythm. And he said, Tongo, if you do a dancing song, but I read him yeah. And I said, Corey, why am you here telling me no man? Everybody's telling me that it's about every person me I got there. Tongo, if you do a dancing song. Tongo, if you do a dancing song. Mm. And uh, me no one done a dancing song. Yeah. And everywhere me go, everyone will tell me do a dancing song. Anyway, Corey gave me the rhythm and he said, yo, what kind of rhythm this man? He said, I die. And we, we made the rhythm. Nee, 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 nee. And he said, <laughs> I was like, well, what the fuck else am I going to do in this? I have to do a dancing song on this. Yeah. It's, and you know what? The rhythm, bad. Bad, yeah, man. So, like, we made the rhythm like that. I mean, we're all thin. Because, like, we never want to do a dancing song. We made that rhythm. Then we say, yo, I rhythm is too bad. I might as well just do a fucking dancing song. <laughs> so, we're there. And, and we got the dancers around. It was Hype Squad and... Flames, flames, yeah, and I flames, see, yeah. Fla ice squad yeah. and flames. They actually made the dance called the surf. Mm. So I said, "What dance should I do?" Cause I didn't know about you know me. I'm not a dancer, fam. So I don't know about dancing. Yeah, right, I said, "Well, me I walk up, but me I know about dancing." So me, so me, so me dip on the phone to them and I said, "What kind of dance me I do, man?" Man said, "Do a dance called the surf." I said, "What?" He said, "The surf." I said, "How that go?" So me don't know nothing about dancing. Yeah. The man said. So the man I explained the, the, the dance to me on the phone. As the man I explained the dance, I write me out. I say, what do you do? Bend your knee. Yeah. All right, so me write down, bend your knee. What do you say? Bend your back. All right, me write. As me dip on the phone, I say, all right, yeah. bend your back. What do you say again? Stretch out your hand. All right, stretch out your hand. And surf. All right, surf. All right, little more. Mm. Bend your knee, bend your back, stretch out your hands like you are surf. Everybody do this. Every... So that, I just, so that's how I fucking yeah, build yeah, the song. Yeah. So he, I didn't, I'm on the phone to him. I might tell you how the dance He goes. told me, he's telling me on the phone yeah. how the dance is going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know fuck all about dancing. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm the worst guy to talk to yeah. about dancing. But I'm good at listening. Well, that's creativity. Uh, creativity, yeah. but I'm good at listening. Mm. So he says to me, bend your knee. Know everything. Can one. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, God, he went mad. He yeah, my God, he went mad. <laughs> Yo, so he said, bend your knee. In that order, that's how I remember the order, because that's how I write the song. Bend your knee, yeah, bend, bend, bend your knee, yeah, bend your back, stretch out your hands like you are served. Everybody do deserve, everybody do deserve, everybody do deserve, do deserve. And that's how I blood clot yeah, right yeah, the song. Yeah, yeah. And then bang. You know, I said, we write the rest of the lyrics in about 15 minutes. Mm. Turn on the microphone, vice the song. And I did it like a joke. 
Because like what I said, I didn't want to make the dancer. dancer yeah, yeah. So it's I just took her. Yeah, and, and I just did it and it cut and the way and me do it quick, quick, mm. quick, twenty minutes, half hour song done, rough yeah, mix. Yeah. I'ma burn off a couple CD and go down the club, <laughs> see them like at them time they're no internet, right? Yeah. I'ma burn off about ten C D, twenty C D and carry it go down the club, see them night and get it. I'm I'm I see the I'm a, I'm a start up in order when they play the song, I say, what the blood clot this <laughs> and then the, the same DJ them carry it go on the radio station them. I'm right. see the song go mad. And we were gonna hear the song. Yeah. Yeah. And me a dance to the song. And them telling me a dance and yeah. feel man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dance, I, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Let me see the music video drop me. I say, yes, the artist mad. I had to do the video, like the buzz yeah, was yeah. so crazy. Yeah, man. Crazy. Mm. And at that time it was like it, it was it was a difficult to shoot video. It wasn't as you know, we had to yeah. it was more preparation. Mm -hmm. You know, and it was a little bit more difficult. Not like no, we didn't have the technology we got no. Yeah, yeah. It was more preparation. So, so you would say that, mm. that's one of the songs will bring her to the forefront, like put a statue on her name. Yeah, one of them, yeah. One of them. I've got many. Mm. I think I've got many, but that's one of the first. That one of them. Yeah. I've got many. That's one that will always be remembered. And that's the one that got me the deal, I will say. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I did surf before I got the deal. So surf, I had the record companies ringing up. Mm. Surf had, so, yeah. was hot. That's why I asked the question. If yeah. that would, you said that would be one of the biggest one. Or... I know you have no, I, I went on to, you see what it is? Like, um, numbers wise, and I went on to make more money off of other songs. Mm. And, I, and I went on to get like songs like Tug Loving yeah. was a big song. Massive song. And then Anything Miss Say Hello was a massive song. Mm. And then London Anthem, let me tell you about yeah, Acne. Yeah, yeah. The, that bad, was a bad, massive bad, song. Bad, 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 bad. So like, the, it was like, but Surf was a special song, was one of the most crossover songs because it yeah, crossed over, crossover, it yeah, crossed man. over outside dancehall. Mm -hmm. So like, even even if you don't listen dance, I, I, I not perform to people, they don't even listen to dancehall, yeah. but they know fucking Surf. surf yeah. And I was like, wow, they don't know mm. any other, they don't know any other dancehall song, mm. but they know Surf. That is why I may ask the question because mm. you have many big songs. Yeah. But the surf is the one who crossed Biggest the crossover. Bridge. It did. And yeah. And you said that's the one who made you land the deal. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, man, so. yeah. 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 From the surf coming mm. up. Right now, because we are fast tracking up. Because you know, yeah. Talk, yeah, yeah. Consistency, you have it. Yeah. Always in putting up, putting, putting up music. Always. Non stop work, you know what I mean? Yeah. I forget the credit for that. Respect. I have to commend you for the. Energy, you know what I mean, and yeah, man. Thank you. You have a song right now where we review. Yeah. We just shoot up. We shoot up. We nah, the intro kill. The intro kill everything. Yeah. The intro load bad. If we go fight, pussy or style or drink, yell come like Milo. Free. What's the reason behind that song? Yeah, yeah. I talk about style or toilet beer for freak. Yeah. Is it is it a real? Beef or just music? It's not man. real beef, no. It's music. Music. It's been an ongoing feud. Okay. When it's, it's a not, feud, like misunderstanding or... No, it's not misunderstanding. Disrespect, bad, uh, bad, disrespect, bad mind, um, jealousy, unnecessary shit. Okay. Unnecessary so, shit. So maybe, maybe I, I'm mean, both of us, perhaps. Mm. I'm no, I'm no angel here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no angel in this situation, but it, 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 there's no smoke and all fire. It works both True. ways. But like we said, no, no serious beef. Yeah. It's not like that. It's music at the end of the day. But like what was, it was the deflammation of character, I will say, that got my back up. So, yeah. so like... Because I listened to the song yeah. and when I first heard it, I said, no, this, we have to review this. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I did a review on it. <coughs> I was listening to somebody I said, you're, you're a part in it where you say um, you try to use your name in one of his songs without, yeah. without your permission or did he reach out to you to use your name or something? No, he never used my name in his song. He's been, he's been like what it is from years ago, I, tr I dissed him back in 2011, 10, 11, I did a diss song for him. Okay. Which went popular at the time. It was getting played on Choice FM. Big up DJ Quincy. Big up all the DJs that were playing. It's called UK Dance or Duppy. Yeah, yeah, I remember that song. You remember that song there, right? Now, he phoned me. Okay. When I put that song out, it was popping off on the radio. And he phoned me on where the car. And I was saying, yo, and he was saying, yo, that song there, bad. Red, tete. 
And I said, yo, me, I can't interact the song. So he's on the phone talking to me like mm. a like a artist friend. Yeah. Saying, yo, me, I can't, me, I can't interact the song. We can all keep dance. All the time he's talking to me, he's recording me. Okay. So he's recording my voice. Then he takes, he splices up my voice mm. and makes one of his artists do a diss song for me. Okay. And calls me a cracker. Mm. Now, I didn't mind the diss song, I'm doing this song, so you're going to do this song. But he starts spread out. Instead of, instead of just calling me, like, you don't want to do an answer song? All right, cool. But his way of not replying to UK Dance or Duppy mm. was calling me a crackhead. Okay. okay. Now. But is he, that him said that? Is his fellow? Is no, he doing? said that. Oh. Yeah, he said that. He said it on social media many times. Mm. He tried to put he tried to put the people them against me. Okay. By saying these things about mm. me, mm. which is so untrue. Everybody yeah. knows I never take fucking hard drugs. I yeah. don't do that. I lose a lot of weight because I work. Oh, exactly. and people notice I lost a lot of mm. weight over the years. That's yeah. because I changed my whole diet. Way of diet. diet my life diet. Diet. Yes. Diet. Yeah, I work out them. six yeah. days a week. I eat mm. very healthy. I'm semi vegan, so yeah. I lost a lot of weight. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But the hard drugs yeah. thing, no. So you see, defamation of character is yeah. something I take serious. Yes, very serious. Very fucking serious. Yeah. Now you can say anything about like you can say, oh, you might do this. Like you see when people do this re- this records, yeah. and this is not a this record because he's never done a this record mm. for me. It, it, he yeah, done troll word, but he's never done a this record yeah, for me. Yeah. But he's gone on his platform mm. to call me a crackhead okay. more than one time, mm. and he spread rumor in the industry. That I'm a crackhead. Mm. I don't take that lightly. No, that's that's very. That's bad. very. That's very. That, I don't take that. Lightly. Yeah, that's very bad, man. Very fucking bad. Mm. So in that sense, you are like it is serious in that sense because that's fucking serious. Yeah, yeah serious, man. Yeah. That character right there, through the career. Thank you. It. Now, because of the character I am, and people, because of the man I am, mm. and people know me good like yourself, and there's too many people like yourself who yeah. know me. Mm-hmm. And no, say, and I talk it that. Yeah, weed, man. Weed, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm a weed mad, man. Always have been. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm so anti hard drugs. Like, you see, like, if you, I couldn't, like, you couldn't, I couldn't even have someone around me doing that shit. Mm. I'm very anti hard drugs. Yeah. For so somebody who, and I grew up in Hackney, so I grew up around it so much, and I see how much it destroyed mm, people's right. lives, yeah. and it destroyed friends' lives mm. of mine. I see my own friends' lives, yeah. families. Lives get affected, like whatever, not, not family, but you understand me? Yeah, I said yeah, friends, yeah, you yeah, might as well say family because you're a friend of your family. Yeah, yeah. You understand me? I said, see, a lot of close people to me get affected from this thing, all, and I know how brutal it is. And to, and I don't take them things they like. Yeah, yeah. And because you're scared of me lyrically because I went for him, mm. so the whole reality is because he's scared of me lyrically, he doesn't want to go up against tug yeah. of war, he doesn't want no beef or parts of no. No back and forth to talk about musically. Yeah, yeah, musically, yeah. No. So he'd rather call me the crackhead. Mm. No. No. Yeah, and you know what? It's been going on for years. Okay, so yeah. listen to this now. Listen carefully. I'm glad you asked about this so I can talk about this. And this is like, people see me make the record and take the piss, but you, they, they don't know the reason. Yeah, but people would feel like maybe you're bad man. Yeah. Think of the strategy because he did it. Yeah, you know what I mean? he, he did it. Like, time <laughs> try and him, him, him <laughs> pay the way, gone through and, and... But you know what? Big up know? Style OG yeah, for his success. I'm yeah. so happy to yeah, see man, happy any... Him, man. Salute. And, and he knows, like... that's why I listen to me. That's why I say it's... It's sad. Yeah. It's got like that. Because it's not, it shouldn't be like that. Mm. Because we don't live like that. Yeah. We know each other better than that. And that's what's a musical. He music. knows me. Nothing personal. It's not. It's yeah. not. It's nothing personal. He said it's nothing yeah. personal. He knows me. It's not like he don't know me. Mm. He knows me. He knows me personally. Not. We're not like we've linked up or but we've met many a time yeah, and man. we know each other. You like what I said? He called me. <laughs> that's why we could like we 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 know each other. Yeah. So there's no need for this mm-hmm. in the first place. So it's good for so talking now. So, so, huh? It's good to be talking now because yeah. people who mm. hear your song because the song bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? So yeah. people gonna feel like say, oh, bad man, bad man. No, 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 no. So, no. That's why I said on the beginning of the song, but you call a man a crackhead, you're bright. Mm. 
Only ganja war god like yeah. You're the one that's paranoid like you don't wanna answer me like you're paranoid mm. half a white yeah. And I send you little yeah. bitch juvenile figure fight Pussy your style or we drink girl come like Milo Don't call my phone I don't fucking like you You understand right now yeah, why yeah. I say that? Because man, say, say, man say, say, don't call my phone, I don't fucking like it. Why? Because I tell you, say, the man called my phone and record yeah, me and started me as bum yeah. clock crack it. Yeah. So Juvenile himself for answer. Juvenile yes, would... big up Juvenile. <laughs> big up Juvenile. He made a good song. I liked his song. Yeah. <laughs> I liked the musical battle. Yeah. I liked the thing. I would like, all I said, like, he couldn't have to get to this. Like, listen, it's so just, I had to get him. That's what I said to you. Like, listen, he fought, he got away. <laughs> Let me put my heart on. Hold on, the man. Hold <laughs> on, the man. Look on the swag and I'm going to put on my trade there. Look, for me good. He thought he got away. Uh, uh, because, you... no, Stylo. Uh. He thought he turned into this big superstar. Mm. With his tongue up, Nicki Minaj's batty hole. <laughs> Do it, don't. <laughs> I talk facts. He turned into the, he's I like why I said good luck to him. Yeah. He's done very well. He put he's done many good songs. Mm. They've gone very well. He's gone yeah, he's, he's done amazing things with his career. Mm. He basically he got to a place where he thought I could never touch him. Mm. Now I kill anybody. <laughs> You can't get away from me. Well, the video shot to you, they don't get away from me. They have to learn. They will not get yeah. away from me. I will get them in the end. Mm. So Juvenile didn't answer either. I, After I dropped the No. No. Mm. That's no. That's the beef is the beef is not with me and Juvenile. The, the, it's between it, what mm. Juvenile does, good luck to him. Is his style or it's him that's finished. Mm. Because he got to a place. Where he thought, oh, I got songs with Nicky, I'm way, I'm big style OG, I don't have to worry about Toggle War. No, you do. You do. You talk shit. Mm. And this song is the get back. Yeah. So that's why style or Tyler Paper Freak, it hit so hard. Mm. And the world knew it. It connect, man. It connect. Man. And everyone knew the song. And, if it, and, if bad, and he never answered, did he? No, no. So, answer. finished, dead. Mm. That's it. Oh. You did a great job on the song and the visuals as well. The, vis the visuals. Big up, big up Frostbite Films, my family. Yeah, the visuals um, represent the song yeah. and everything in the song. The visual, the visual mm. mash it, you know? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up to your team. Frost, yeah. Frost, Frostbite, Frostbite. Frostbite, yeah, yeah man. Frostbite. I had to get him. I had to get him. So, this is what I'm saying. So, this has been brewing up for years. Now, war is about timing. Mm. I study. The art of war. So they call me the war. Right? They call me the war god. Yeah. But you can't. You can, when you're at war, you can't lose with war. Mm. Cause you can fire a stray shot, you know, and not not connect. Not enough, yeah. I wish, I wish you wish, you wish, you bullet them. Mm -hmm. Me war god for a reason. <laughs> me no win for your attack. He never expect that, that, that when the van pull up and toilet paper dash pan him. Mm. You never see the van pull up. Yeah, man. Shot, when the van pull up and toilet paper that's for him, they expect that. <laughs> the toilet paper hit him hard like a rock on him. Head. Yeah. Like a rock I threw up on him. Toilet paper. So if him answer that already. Because you are going you know. The man not put him tongue in a Lisa Batty all and she go leak the voice no king. So Lisa <laughs> go up on blood claw. Lisa go up on social media and say, the man lick out her batty every night. And one bag of thing, and a world boss she has sent the thing to, mm. and a day I check world boss all the time. We are still about me. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> you understand what well, I'm saying? Babe, just now I want to interview you, soon show you back, baby. Alright, alright, look at what you're doing. That's a good one! Mm. So, the, so the girl go link out a blood clot thing. So I say, hey, hey, that I really are going. And hey, did you piece of that in the song? No? Yes. Mm. So yes. Like so listen, basically, you talk shit about me. Mm. I talk facts about you. You talk rubbish about me. Mm. You said I'm a cracker. I bet you call me a weed head. I bet you call me a weed junkie or something. Crack it, no make yeah, it. Yeah. 
I talk facts about you. The girl, the girl leaked them. The girl done tell the world what you do. Mm. So you believe her? Huh? You believe what she said? Hundred percent, million percent. <laughs> some me not believe her. Me, me believe in her. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> You do some now, what them L, your latest, <coughs> is that your latest L, L? Like Pablo. El Pablo. El Pablo. Mm. Mad. Like Pablo. Mad. Yeah, man. Is that one of your latest? Yeah, that's my latest one. That's my latest one. It's actually taken from um my mixtape called The Nyang Tape. Mm. So you have a mixtape coming? No, it's out already. Oh, it's out already. Yeah? I dropped a mixtape at the beginning of the year, and then I put out an album as well. Oh, so okay. I dropped a mixtape and then an album. Yeah, because I was going to ask you that, um, yeah. how many... um. Since Junior All Career, how many albums have you released, producer? A mixtape. Wow. You know, I'm on. I'm on my 25th album. Yeah. Wow. I'm on my 25th that's album. A milestone. That's decade. Yeah. After Anna, your cars. Thank you. Uh, me have what? Well, three mixtapes since June my career. No. It still works. It's catalog. Yeah. It's catalog. What? It's catalog. Free, 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 free mixtape wow. is free mixtapes. Mm. It's catalog still. I've got about 25 albums. I have 25 albums and about 20 mixtapes, mm. maybe more. And mm. one bag of singles. Like, I've got hundreds, I've got, I wouldn't say hundreds, I've maybe got thousands of songs. Yeah. Over my career, thousands. Mm. <laughs> I'd probably say thousands. I've got, I record like crazy. And I record like crazy. I record that I never stop recording. Yeah. Never, never, never. Sometimes I record like crazy. Like I go into so I can record three, four, five songs. I remember recording seven songs in a day, and this is like, and I'm recording, recording, mm. recording. Sometimes at the end of the week, I can't remember how many songs I've. Say L, yeah, L, El, El, El Cargo. El, what the song? Yeah, like Pablo. Like Pablo. Like Pablo. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We call El Tog, yeah, the character. What, what this is, is why I got that hat on today. Yeah. yeah. What is better to do? Um, I'm going to start a snippet on Instagram. I said, boom, bam, I did that one again. <laughs> and then I bam. What well, is better to write that song? Oh, oh to write the song? Mm. It's crazy because um, I'm a fan of. Um, and you watch a show on, on Netflix called Narcos? No. Okay, you know, you know the, you know the, you know, you know Pablo Escobar. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, you know the Pablo Escobar story. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm very familiar with that story there. You know what I mean? I'm, and my life is, I've got my own little unique story to myself. You yeah, know. See? So I, I relate to people's stories like. Yeah. That. You know what I mean? Everyone, yeah, everyone's got their own unique oh, part. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So I relate, I relate to, to, and I, and I, I like that story there. So I, and when the story, this, this program on Netflix come out called Narcos mm. I, I really liked it because it was about the whole story and that was called Narcos and that inspired me to do my podcast which is called the Tug of War podcast okay. Narcos Coffee that's why you hear me say Narcos Coffee because yeah. the best mm. coffee for me comes from Colombia See. the best coffee comes from Colombia so you say now Pablo Escobar them used to do co big coke business cocaine yeah, well, shipment yeah, well. from yeah. Colombia right so so I kind of Take the piece and say, my coffee name, Narcos, Narcos Coffee. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> so now, when I make the song now, me get the rhythm. I, I buy the rhythm, actually. I buy it, I get the rhythm from somebody. And, and I say, this is a lovely Mexican song. It's something different. Mm. Because I was making the mixtape, or the project. I was making my mixtape at the time. So I find the rhythm. I'm, I always look for something different. Different, yeah. I like something different. When it connect, mm, I want something different. And the dog shot the dog pop star. <laughs> we got tricks in the dog. We yeah. are, it's beautiful, man. See, yeah, the yeah, video yeah. now, we got Frostbite Films because the vision for the video, that's, that's the song side of it. Mm. The video, we got Frostbite. He come yeah, with yeah. the whole, when I play, I played him the song and he straight away said, yo, See, let's do this theme and it just suited it so well. I was like, because, yeah. Because he knows my character well. Yeah. He knows me as a person well, so he knows mm. what will suit me. Yeah, well, he understands yeah. me as there. So it's it was, good when you have a team yes. like, around you where know you are. Yes. Know what to, you know? That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, me up first. Yeah, first, big up um, Frostbite Films, yeah. man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Real talk. Real talk. So, what, what's next for Togo what? Yeah, and big up Let's Light This as well. Big up Let's Light This because he works closely with Frostbite okay, Films. Yeah. And big up Steppy Bass, Volks mm. TV, bless up, man. Tug Movements. What are Tug Movements, big up, man. Mm. So what, what's next for Tug of War? What's next for Tug of War? I've got a lot of singles coming out. Mm. I've got a lot more singles coming out. I'm in the process of actually... Um, my whole life is like a movie. So I've 
in on me and Frostbite are working on working towards doing a movie yeah, okay. about my life story, mm. which will take about which will take me going back to Jamaica and shooting some footage yeah. and stuff like that. And I've, I've got, I'm working on a new album at the moment as well. Mm. So I've got a new album coming See? out. I've got a lot of singles coming. I've got a lot of because all of the stuff I've been doing, it's been like we've been in quarantine for um, over, a over a year. Mm. We've been in quarantine for over a year. So it's like all the stuff we've been doing, I've been keeping busy, yeah. doing what we can do. We've been restricted what we can do, haven't we? All of us. Mm-hmm. We've been restricted, so there hasn't been no shows. Mm-hmm. You know, we yeah, haven't been able to do. Man, yeah, we we haven't been able to do no shows and stuff like that, and we haven't been able to do a lot of the stuff we're we're used to doing. So, but um, give thanks for, for everybody around me and the team and everything, and I've been able to keep positive and active mm. you know what i mean and it's been a good time for me as well in sense of the, for me to kind of restructure my thing yeah restructure my career rethink it look 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 at how things is and say okay what's best for me mm-hmm. moving forward so i've spent that the last year and a half doing that as well yeah. and panning out what's best moving forward so i come to oh, a good yeah. yeah come to a good space now where i, I kind of know what i want to give them so and um I was constantly going to keep giving them, and I've got the podcast, which is doing really well as well. So they just look out for a lot of new music from Tug of War okay, and yeah. a movie in the making as well, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Look forward to that, man. I'm going to need your acting for that one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we know what you need. We need you, mate. Acting is a thing, man. Yeah, I see it. I admire. And, you know, me too. I always wanted to try it, really. Uh huh. I did, at once, I did make an application, but. No, um, wasn't fruitful, you know. But well, you gotta keep doing it. That's yeah, what it, yeah. like. I, I really believe in that. What you did, I see you did the little clip the other day. You yeah, know, we, we did the, the the slides for my. Oh, really? I think, yeah. yeah, like <laughs> that's amazing. Like this is what it's about. Yeah. Like we're entertainers. Mm. I think acting think, yeah. acting mm. comes in with yeah. with the whole part of it. Mm. You know what I mean? And I believe when 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 you're doing the music business for so long, acting becomes a, a yeah, man, you know we get used to the camera. Yeah. We're, we're always in front of the camera. So that's naturally instilled in you. Yeah. Mind, you know? So it's just mm. it's just reprogramming yourself. Yeah. Like, so we're used to doing music videos. So like, I, 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 we're always in front of the cameras mm-hmm. like now. So it's just, it's yeah, natural yeah, in natural, us yeah. to be in front of the cameras because that's that's the main thing to be an actor, isn't it? To be comfortable in front of the camera, camera yeah. which we are. Mm. So it's something that we, I, yeah. I look passionate and I look, I, I do, I, I admire actors as well. When I see the acting, I take acting yeah. very serious and I see, Acting from both male and female, and watch it, and and I admire good acting because mm-hmm. it's it's a it's yeah, a really yeah, interesting. It's a craft. Yeah. It's a craft. It's a craft just it's a craft talent, yeah. and a talent. Mm-hmm. Just like what I do is a craft mm-hmm. and a talent, and just like what you do is a craft and yeah, a talent, man. and it's a craft and a talent in the entertaining field where we can mold into at mold any time. Into, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, you know, yeah. So the album, you're looking to have any um, mm. collaborations or it? Just no, definitely. Solo. Mm. I'm always open for collaborations with the right people. Mm-hmm. Right energy. I don't even care about big names. I just care about good songs and good energy. Okay. You know. What so I mean? if you were still posted, um, if you were, if you got the opportunity to do a collaboration with a big name, who, yeah. would, it, who, who would it be? Right, it. right now, anyone apart from Stylo. <laughs> <laughs> Now you know I like I like Skilly Bang. Skilly Bang. I like Skilly Bang. Skilly Bang thing I go on and Yeah, I like like there's a new artist. Yeah, but what's something I like? Different. Yeah. Style different and style bad. The bad artist. Look like him have some team where run him where Billy gonna push him. You know. Yeah. He's he's making waves and he's pulling strings. You know. I like Unix. I like Tommy Lee when he came out. Cause he was different. Yeah. And I like the craft of it, you know? Mm. I think Skilly's got a long way to go. He's still growing. Yeah, still alone, yeah. Still alone. Yeah. But he's he's um I like the style, yeah, man. Yeah, but what's up, man? Like, say that yeah. website, let's say bad them is not. Say them is bad, them is not. <laughs> yeah, it's bad, you're fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me, me a few songs, every song, we, Nicki just, Nicki Minaj just put him on her album, man. Remix, yeah, yeah. Remix, yeah, big song, yeah, man. Bad, bad, good look, good look, man. Mm. Good look for the whole thing, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Skilly, I go on, man. Yeah, man, sir. Hmm? 
Yes, Tonga Wire, man. It's a pleasure Respect. for this moment. Thanks for you know you giving me the opportunity because you're welcome anytime. Long time, land, long time. Yeah. This is overdue, yeah. like I said to yes. you. Yes, you know. So as I say, it's an inspiration to I am. From see, I do the thing. I say, boy, I have to reach out and try. Come link up with the eye, cause you know what I mean. Yeah, man. Yeah, today man. I do the thing. A long time I do the thing, and that's right. Me say you're still at it. You know what I mean. And as I say, you are doing it before me. You know, because you're up there, you did it. Yeah, yeah, you did it. Right. Yeah. You know I mean? We still are trying to figure that out. Cool, no, man. <laughs> you work hard. Like, I just hear a couple... But, but it's good. I heard a couple of your songs a minute ago, man. Yeah. They sound like you got some hits hits ready to blow any minute, man. Seriously. Yeah, true. We're just putting the work. Yeah. But what I say, it's good, you mm. know. For, no, so you see your brother and you can acknowledge... Of course. And show the love and the support. Of course. You know, because some of us fail to do that, you know. But this is... Because... It. Yeah. We are trying to reach here as well, but yeah. we're going to show the love to help you. Yeah. Our next brother who is nearly there to yeah. get there. Yeah. We try to tear it down, tear down the person. This is it. This you is know? it. I know. It's sad. But, it's know. sad. And you know, it's too much of that in the UK. It's too much of and that in yeah, the UK. Yeah, UK, Jamaica, yeah. worldwide still, you know, yeah. but we have to just, as yeah. we say, I think the you, black farm there for everybody, you know. This what I mean? is it. And this is it. Like as much as me, as much as me, I wagger and everything. It's, it's like I like to see unity. And if you yeah, know, and you know, if you know anyone that knows me, and uh, the artists them that know me, me are one of the artists them. We try to like bring a lot of artists mm. together. I, like, I've, 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 I've had. I've had like nearly every artist up at my studio. Yeah, I've yeah. I mean, I told you, you didn't even a pass pass. No. I just, the shooter, you shoot up a style of G. No, and, you know, and, and, and like what I said, that's, it's just you know. like for them specific reasons. And yeah. that's it. I don't, and like, like, because of the unnecessary shit he did. You understand? Yeah, it's yeah, life. Yeah. It is. That's how it go. That's yeah, what the thing go. I'm not, I'm, not mm-hmm. a person. I'm music. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. So. You and I think yeah. I go where you No, you have a date for when the album will drop. Uh, no, you know say right now. I don't like you know date to be honest with you. Cause I think the day date thing kind of fear though. I like the people them for just them just see it and Bang. yeah. Cause yeah. I don't like start put out the cover them and, yeah, and yeah, people yeah. Like, and by the time it released, you sick of it's a blood yeah, clot. Yeah, yeah. I see it every day. You yeah, understand yeah, me? Yeah, I say yeah, so. True. I kind of and I think in in this day and age now, it's like element of surprise yeah, yeah, work yeah, better. Yeah. Better, yeah. free, mm. free, free, free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll try not to really give him a deal and think I just kind of wait for the I wait for I like, I like the vibe because he's quick you can put out music so fast nowadays like you can yeah. ha- literally have a song in iTunes in hours hours yeah mm-hmm. you understand know yeah, that's yeah, how the game is easy you know, so, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. yeah man so mm-hmm. yeah man I don't know big up myself talk about it, man Work big up my family but the people don't know where they can find us still you know like social media music them to buy or purchase stream download you know at Tug of War on Instagram. Follow me on If you're not following me on Instagram, you're late, man. You need to follow me on Instagram. Keep up with the latest posts. Follow at Mama War as well. Follow at Tug of War. T-U-G-G-A-W-A-R. Same thing on the Facebook. Same thing on the YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, check out my podcast, the Tug of War podcast, featuring Steppy Bars. Let's like this Frostbite films. It's out every Monday. Check out the brand new music video, Like Pablo, taken from the Nyang tape out now. Nyang Boss, the album out now. Nyang Boss, the single out now as well. And check out all the latest videos, man. Like Pablo, turn up out now also. But check out the new, see my hat? Look on the swagger, it's a gummy jagger. Like Pablo out right now, man. Follow follow me on the Instagram. Check out the hype, man. Yeah, man. So any shout outs to your fans? When you want to big up? Right? Big up, everyone. First and foremost, big up Mama War. Big up. And all of the fans and well wishers. We got my whole team, my whole gang. Steppy Bars, Frostbite Films, Let's Like This. You don't know the whole gang, the whole, whole gang, all the tug movements, everyone. If I left your name out, big up the same way. You see me, I say. Um, just big up all the supporters and everybody that's been following me on the Instagram. All of the, listen, all of my Jamaican fans, big up because that's how my career start. And I haven't been to Jamaica for years. Yeah. And like, they, that, that my Jamaican fans keep me relevant over there, mm-hmm. and yeah. I haven't been there back. So that, yeah, that, that yeah. I'm passionate about that because mm-hmm. that's my family. Them same way. No, you know, you know, you know what? Lifetime. That means so much to me. I don't want to know. I mean, I take it for joke, and I don't yeah. take it for light. I don't take it lightly because it means so much to mm-hmm. me. Yeah, because Jamaica is so close to my heart. Yeah. So 
that means so much to me. True. You understand me? Yeah, I say? So I have to got all my fandom in Jamaica. We keep my hype going and, and, and love the vibes and show yeah. love and them thing there. And I, and I look forward to coming to Jamaica to do some shows and show love to you guys as well. Yeah, and same thing to everybody around the world because everybody in every country, no matter where you're from, bless up yourself, man. Bless up. Of course. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So I don't know. Give me a quick freestyle for Lion for TV there. Yay! How do my own print? Step up in the place, them say Nyang Boss. Lick up by the case for the Nyang Boss. Gella wind up them waist for the Nyang Boss. Bear money man I make me say Nyang Boss. The whole world I shout out Nyang Boss. This me a straight shoot out Nyang Boss. Check me brand new suit out Nyang Boss. Mind you get your face boot out Nyang Boss. Me a lead them can't catch me. Rich like me win the lottery Irish and Greek not cockney Tell a pussy don't mock me Yo, ponder it, the mama murderer Blue steel, copper bullet Insert in ya, heavy light lead and blood clot furniture When the rifle a clap and a permiture Make gunshots sing like a orchestra This war got pussy I'm more in ya Make bullets start rain and storming ya And me gun them foreign like Ikea Make the 4-5 beat them like Ikea No Whitney, bullets make ya dance like Strictly, you with me? Talk movements like the city, no pity. Kill a rat oh so quickly. I'm a rack! Nyang! Oh, but there is... Done now. Lionfoot yeah. TV in the blood clot building. Tuggy Tuggy said that. Straight. Yeah, well, talk about it. Big up yourself, brother. Big up yourself, Keep up brother. Great work, Thank you, know you my brother. Man. Same yeah, to man. you, my brother. Yeah, yeah man. Respect. All the power love. Enough love. Lionfoot love. TV in the building. I am foot we are so great And in the people real dance all right Lion foot feeling great I'm a victory of the people with good vibes Lion foot you are so great Cause you are blessed by the most high.